Hey guys, in this video I'll be discussing the advantages of asexual reproduction and the disadvantages of asexual reproduction. I'll also be discussing the advantages of sexual reproduction and the disadvantages of sexual reproduction. And finally, a summary. Organisms make more of themselves through either asexual or sexual reproduction, but both of these have costs and benefits associated with them. Now I'm going to go through the advantages of asexual reproduction. So asexual reproduction involves only one parent and the offspring created are genetically identical to the parent and these are formed through mitosis. This means that the offspring is a clone of the parent. So I mentioned before that asexual reproduction only involves one parent. This means it has a faster reproductive cycle, and a reproductive cycle is the time taken to produce independent offspring. So it has a faster reproductive cycle than meiosis. This means it's more time and energy efficient. This results in the fact that asexual reproduction can produce a lot of offspring in a short space of time. They don't have to go looking for a mate or spend energy attracting one. As they don't have to wait for a mate, they can colonise an area. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE Biology and Combined Science videos, just click the Snap Revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make Biology at GCSE a walk in the park.